Saturday morning at Newcastle, industrial city of New South Wales. Despite the weekend, it's business as usual at the nearby Broadmeadow Engine Depot, the final stronghold of steam on the New South Wales railways. Standing idle on road 10, this gently breathing giant, the mighty C-38 steam locomotive, soon to be brought to life. Significantly, perhaps, despite a preponderance of diesel power, steam has been rusted to haul today's Newcastle Express. firemen make another early start. They'll prepare veteran 3827 for the fast midday trip south to Sydney. and first checks the water level and pressure in the boiler. The blower is then opened to provide some draft of air through the engine's simmering firebox. The dull remains of yesterday's fire, heaped up in the back of the firebox, are now spread evenly over the grate to form the basis of a revived fiery heart. Firemen on steam locomotives know that plenty of elbow grease is needed to rekindle the spirit of power. The driver's kept pretty busy too. Although he knows the engine practically inside out, he always carefully checks his charge and oils the machinery. Meanwhile, on the footplate, steam pressure's creeping up and the fireman's got some well-toned muscles into the bargain. Today's express train working demands top engine performance, so the smoke box and spark arrestor are carefully checked by the driver. It's hot work searching for cinder accumulation and air and steam leaks. Thank you. 
the injector needed to maintain boiler water level is tried, releasing first visible signs of steam power. pound pressure and steam well in evidence, 3827's a pretty lively lady. The unsubtle singing of the safety valve would probably suggest a challenge to other less impressive forms of motive power. The turntables are lined to receive the engine. The road's clear, so it's time to move. Brakes released okay, so here goes. tons of living steam locomotive is turned to take the coal stage road. It's tender first running from now until coupling on to the waiting carriages at Newcastle station. a breath at the coal stage where the tenders topped with good old black Newcastle coal and some water for the journey. Thirty-eight twenty-seven now stands ready to take pride of place on a famous express train. The old hands are possibly casting a few bets that you'll give the diesels a good run for their money. It's steam's day to day, steam for the road, steam on the Newcastle Express. One final check and it's goodbye to Broadmeadow for the time being. The road's clear to steam lightly out of the depot and down to the waiting train.
now 3827, meets the challenge. Deft hands control a surge of steam power that starts 520 tonnes of air-conditioned express train on its journey. Here's the rewarding climax of skill and hard work, the visually impressive power of steam and steel. The city of Newcastle relaxes, and yet, as the engine's sound fades into the distance, we reflect that we are witnesses to a journey into the past. Together with most steam locomotives, 3827 has now been scrapped, and, sadly perhaps, the streets of Newcastle no longer echo to the once majestic sound of the visibly impressive C-38s on regular railway service. And yet, there still remains in the minds of those of us who can cast our thoughts back, visions of those mighty Pacifics drawing... Saturday morning at Newcastle, industrial city of New South Wales. breathing giant, the mighty C-38 steam locomotive, soon to be brought to life. Significantly, perhaps, despite a preponderance of diesel power, steam has been rusted to haul today's Newcastle Express. Despite the weekend, it's business as usual at the nearby Broadmeadow Engine Depot, the final stronghold of steam on the New South Wales railways. Standing idle on Road 10, 